addition to another episode of Love Shack. I'm your host, Dr. Love, Big Al. And I'm your co-host, Charmer Charles. Good evening, Albert. Good evening, NWA. Good evening, FW Nation. <laughs> and Charles did it. He, he, he uh, was able to get uh, our special guest. So, Charles, I'll, I'll let you start it right here. All right. Tonight we have with us a fellow Kentuckian friend of mine, Miss Harley. How you doing, Miss Harley? Good Friday, how are you? Doing good. I'm going to get right to the point, dear. There's a little loudmouth girl running around in NFW. Her name is Chloe, and she says that she's going to kick you from one end to Indiana to the other. What you got to say about that, dear? Well, all I got to say is that she needs to get off of her street corner at first. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you better believe, sweetheart, that he's going to stick his nose in it. If there's anything to do with her or her to do with him, they're going to be sticking each other's nose in it. So you just have your back. I know you're going to have my buddy Kirkpatrick with you. Yes, he will be right there with me. Oh, good, good. Good. Now, you, you, heard, the co now, you heard the comments Chloe said about you, which I thought were pretty uh, derogatory. So I'll tell you what, uh, if you want to comment about... What she said about you, and uh, if you got something to say to her, because she's going to be listening and watching this. So I tell you what, uh, you got something you want to say to her about the, her comments? The floor's all yours. Well, all I can say is, Chloe, you've got it to do, and you can't do it because you're not wanted, and you're Harley, she's been running her mouth and everything. And what's real funny, tonight she was supposed to be here and she yeah. got sick and Johnny got sick. I think it's called up, but being afraid to show up is what I think it is. No, I just call it scared. Exactly. I mean, if she's that scared to talk to you on the phone, think about how scared she's going to be Saturday night right out there at the Metro Center, Albert. There you go. There you go. She's that be scared. Well, you know, like I said, I've known you guys for a while. I, I'm from Kentucky, too, and I'm telling you what, Chloe, it's like Harley said, don't let that alligator mouth overlord that hummingbird ice, and if frogs had wings, they wouldn't fly. There you go. She keeps talking, but she can keep talking all she wants because it's not going to do any good, and everybody's going to see that Saturday night. Exactly. Who is the champ? There you go. Yeah, talk is cheap. Action That's it. Louder than the words. I know that. Oh, oh yeah, Miss Hardy. I, I love that accent. Where are you from? I am from Edmonton, Kentucky. There you go. All right. Uh, yeah. She knows my buddies, the headhunters. The headhunters. Yeah. Oh, she's she's from from yeah. <laughs> she knows a real good friend of mine, Dean Smith. Real good friend of mine. Cool. These, right. I've known these people for a while, Albert. I get around. You know what I'm saying? Like the man. Beach Boys. The man. I get around, around. Okay, Miss Harley, I want to ask you one thing before we let you go, and Albert's going to ask you some more. I've been wanting to ask you this for a long time. How long have you been wrestling? Because you've been wrestling as long as I've known, and how did you get into business? I first started out with Dale Lynn. He needed women wrestlers. Uh, there was a couple other girls that was in it. They asked me. I um, found out. I worked for them. And I had been in it for 22 years. I knew it had been a while. And uh, another thing I'd like to ask you is uh, how many titles have you held in the past? Two. Two. Well, I think you're getting ready to hold three come this Saturday night. That's right. I know I am. That's right. A vast virus database has been updated. Our, our uh, <laughs> computer is talking to us. But anyway, I'm going to turn you back over to Albert right. here, dear. So, you, okay, yeah, now, you, you, you're going against Chloe for the NFW, vacant NFW women's title. Uh, it's, it, winner will be the champion. So I'll tell you what, uh, so you're pretty well uh, set to be making your mark in NFW. You're going to be hanging around, so uh, there's going to be some tough competition out there. Are, are you ready for the challenge? All I can say is bring it on. There you go. I tell you, what, I like your attitude a lot, a lot better than I like Chloe's. I tell you what, but uh, um, 
I tell you what, before we let you go, our fans, the NFW Nation, uh, I tell you what, we had a lot of comments about this match, and they're look, really looking forward to it, and a lot of interest has been taken on to it. So I tell you what, is there anything you want to say to our fans, the NFW Nation, about about uh, your uh, title shot against uh, Chloe? All I can say is everybody needs to come out on Saturday, July the 13th, and see who the real, true winner is, and that'll be Miss Farley. There you go. Again, Miss Hardy taking on Chloe for the NFW Women's Title. I tell you what, uh, uh, do you have anything you want to say before we let her go? I just want to say, Miss Harley, that it's been a pleasure having you on the show tonight. And I want to tell you something else, too. Uh, I'm not bashful. Me and O.L. is going to be passing up that way here, all, I guess, about September. Wonder if there might be any way we can stop by and get some of that good Kentucky cooking. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> She's ready for Chloe, and she, the fans are in for a treat because she's going to take it to her. Well, the thing I like about it, Kirk Patrick will be there, and if Johnny Richards sticks his nose in there, I know he'll give him a good kicking. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. He'll be ready. So i tell you what, Miss Hardy, we're looking forward to seeing you there for the women's title. Uh, wish you the luck. Uh, like I said, I, I think Chloe kind of, you know, a bit off a little bit more, but I'll tell you what she did for Rude Awakening. I mean, she got that little Johnny Richards attitude. Well, and, she's young, and she's all yeah. gassed up. Yeah, that's, that's one thing. She's new to the business. She right. don't know how the real stuff is done, but she's going to find out Saturday night. There you go. And she's going to be the one that will take it to her. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He says, when a nurse asks him his name, he says, Tim, start with a T as in trouble if you don't let me go see my wrestling That's match. right. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you something else, too. I don't know if you knew this or not, but I found out that Monday was he and his wife's 46th wedding anniversary. 46th anniversary. But yeah, so happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Tim. guys. Yeah, happy anniversary. And How also, our anniversary? Uh, We've been together for a while. I mean, not you. Come know, on but, now. Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't swing like that. I swing oh, like this. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. But anyway, uh, I like him. I'm just kidding. Oh, thank you, buddy. Steve Robinson wanted to put out thank you to everybody, especially Mom and Rich, Charles, and Big Al for going up there seeing them. Uh, and your you, lovely wife was with you, Penny. That's right, Penny right for seeing them also. It lifted up his spirits and made him happy. She, they, he said that he was really happy to see everybody. It made him really feel special. Of course, he makes us feel special sure too. Because, like he I defended said, he's, our he, country, man. He, yeah, that's right. He defended our country. He's a great man. So, Tim, you're in our hearts and prayers. Stay strong. And we'll see you Saturday. And, boy, we see Saturday. And uh, you know, we can't wait to see you because, like I said, uh, you're a dedicated fan. And uh, we have a lot of respect for you. So, you're in our prayers, my friend. Now, Also, Albert, what's that? I want to tell you... Uh, Another one of our fans is husband's in the hospital. Who's that? Teresa Keon. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Her, Her husband, husband has heart failure too, oh, and yeah. I shouldn't maybe say this, but I'm going to. He was kicked out of the hospital because he was sick. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't. That's kind of confusing. I mean, it don't don't make don't make sense. No, right. but no, we, but I'll tell you what. If you're, <laughs> I'm on a roll. Don't get mad at me, folks. But by golly, here's the way I look at it. If you're a criminal and you get caught, we will appoint you a lawyer. If you're sick, we can't get you no doctor. But we wish him a speedy recovery, old Tom out there. Yeah. He's been wanting a pizza, Albert, from uh, a certain place. I forget what it is. We should get a pizza and take it to him. Yeah, we can do that. We'll, we'll work on that. And like I said, get well, my friend. You're in our hearts and prayers also. And Teresa, you're in our hearts and prayers too. God bless you both. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be hearing from you soon too. So, yep, so. But uh, we love we our love fans. You, yeah, we love you, Teresa. You've been a fan and a fans. photographer for a long time. That's right. That's right. She, she, she's a sweetheart. Whew. Okay, now, New Focus Wrestling's Red, White, Black, and Blue, <laughs> July 13th at the Metro Sports Center, 5820 Metro Drive here in Evansville, Indiana. And uh, we've got great sponsors. We don't thank our sponsors also. Uh, Evansville Tire. Jim. Green's, Green's Family Pizzeria. Green, uh, Great pizza. Great oh, pizza. That's T-Bow. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jen's Fashion and Costumes, if Brighter Side Incorporated, Jeez. Brave Entertainment, and TJ Scrap Dealer. Thank you, sponsors, very, very much. Also, I want to mention that uh, tickets to Ringside are $10, General Mission, $8, Children 5 and 12, and Senior Citizens, $5, Kids 4 and Under, and Active Military Free. Uh, again, that's uh, NFW presents Red, White, Black, and Blue, and like I said, the, the card is great. Uh, the number one contender match for the NFW World Title: Vic the Bruiser Lewis against Iron Man Rob Conway. Well, I like uh, both, but I'm gonna tell you what: I don't think it's gonna be in Vic's favor Saturday night. I really don't. It, it's. I've been talking to the Iron Man, and let me tell you something, man. That guy, you know what he told me the other day? Once y'all listen to him, he goes, "Charles, I'm in shape." When ain't he in shape? <laughs> I, I don't understand it, but I like I like it, you know. But he did. He said, "I'm ready to go. I'm I've been working out. I'm trim. He's going always trim. Yeah. I'm the one that needs to slim down. <laughs> He's going to do it the Conway. It's going to be one great match. Also, we want to mention the the No Limits Champion Benny Bray will be taking on Viper. Viper. On half Damage Incorporated. My old buddy Viper's making his return, oh. making his debut in NFW for the No Limits Title match. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing Viper. He's a great, he's a great competitor, good wrestler. He's been around for a while. He's, he, he knows how, you know. <laughs> so Benny's in for a, a challenge right there. So we're looking forward to seeing Viper. I think Benny will go to school that night too. You going? Yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's going to be one great match. And like I said, we also mentioned that that Madman Pondo and Dangerous Doug Gilbert, two crazy maniacs right <laughs> there who don't fear nothing, going, going up against Cliff, Cliff Compton Johnny. and NFW World Champion Johnny Richards. I tell you what, uh, I, that match, <laughs> like I said, you got dangerous Doug Gilbert, Man Man Pondo on one side. Uh, that's that's like rabid rabid pit bulls right there. Get ready to say that's not me. Hold on a minute. <laughs> hey Rob, what's going on? We're doing the love shack. I My mean, buddy Rob, Rob Conway. Conway. All right. Yeah, man, me and Al right here. Oh really? Cool. Oh, you're all right. 
I'll let you go. I'll call you later. But hey, Rob says hi to the NFW Nation. Hi to you, Albert. Hi, Rob. Hi, and Rob. he is ready for Vic Bruiser Saturday night. So Vic <laughs> got him on the phone. He just called me. So see you, Rob. See you, Vic, Saturday <laughs> night when you get your butt kicked. I'll call you later, Rob. Bye bye. <laughs> I tell you, okay, like we said, we got Madman Pondo and Dangerous Doug Gilbert going up against Cliff Compton and Johnny Richards. You got two maniacs, like I said, who are like rabbit pit bulls. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that fear nothing, fear no pain or nothing going up against Johnny and Cliff. Oh, that's going to be one heck of a fight right there. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, that's going to be a great tag team right there. Uh, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now, fans, Lumberjack Strap Match. Flash Flooding and taking on J.P. Lightning. Where's Scarlett going to be? That's what I'm wondering. Where is she going to be? I've been asking that for the last month. Linda Nelson done says that she hopes she comes around her way. Oh, boy. <laughs> we handcuffed her to Linda, huh? <laughs> that's an idea. Hey, that's a good idea. <laughs> Talk to Mama Rich. Uh, but anyway... Flash has won revenge because of uh, last last time he fought JP. Kind of like a little, kind of I guess you call him a little slickster, but uh, he's tough. But he's going against a guy who's just as tough as Flash. You know, former WWE champion. I mean, former uh, FW champion and OVW and OVW champion. So uh, he's gonna be ready. Whew. SOL. We got Anthony Blaze, the Old Outlaw Anthony Blaze, Big Bull Lee, and Hardcore Cowboy Scotty Wolf taking on the Coalition. Daniel Eads, Dyron Flynn, the intellectually defined <laughs> athlete, one man workhorse, <laughs> and excuse me, my buddy Chad Stallings. Yeah, he loves you. Yeah, yeah. Did not wrong to my friend there, buddy. You love uh, him on the screen. I, I, I tell you, we're gonna be out there. We're gonna be rooting for us. So well, I hope they really stop a mud hole, and you know why? Uh, because in August, it all goes down. Big yeah, Alan, Chad. Whew. And I'll be getting ready for my training too. I'm looking really looking forward. to I that. can't believe he did you like that. Oh yeah, bless my heart. Huh? <laughs> okay. Whew. Also, return grudge match. Sebastian Harris is one revenge against ladies man Just John. And uh, Sebastian said he, you know, he he got John called John lucky well, on on his victory last time. Well, I don't know about lucky. You know, John's tough. So I'm, that's going to be a pretty good match there. Looking forward to that. Then, like I said, we just talked to Miss Hardy. Yep. She, she's going up against Chloe for the uh, vacant NFW women's uh, title. No. Uh, Chloe's just taking, you know, not taking, I don't know if she's taking it serious or not, but uh, I'll tell you what, she better come Saturday night because Miss Hardy's going to be coming in full force, and uh, she's fit to be tied because she heard the comments Chloe said about her, and she said she's going to make her eat her words. So, uh, that's that's not what she show. said, but that's nice from what she said. But you didn't tell you something, Crowley. <laughs> it gonna go down, girl. It gonna go down. Find that. You can get a buck hit. Bang, bang. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, that's, that's, right. Right that's right. That's right. She's in for a rude awakening. Then you got a tag team title match. The NFW Tag Type Champions, the River City Saints, which is Chimp Best and Johnny Whiplash, going up against the wildcard team. Uh, yet to be. I mean, well, I'm not saying yet to be, but... Uh, won't know who it is until they come out of the curtain. So uh, it'd be kind of hard to, I, I guess you always should be ready for any match that comes your way. But not knowing who your competitors are, well, you make them wonder. I mean, mm -hmm. but uh, they're tough. Johnny Whiplash and Tempest have really come a long ways. Uh, they're really, they look good. So uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to be ready. And like I said, it, you know, we got other, other, uh, Rashford will be there also. We got uh, Bobo Brazil Bobo Jr. Brazil. My buddy will be there. T Bolt. Mr. Three Twenty and the Biscuit will be there. A concession stand. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to seeing him. Rough Rider Roy, Roddy Red, our buddy Roddy Red will be oh, I there. Roddy Red. Oh yeah, Canadian Kid will be there. Chris Norte. You know, like I said, Kurt Patrick, and more. Again, like I said, tickets are uh, ten dollars ringside. General admission is eight. Children five and twelve and senior citizens are five. Kids four and under and active military are free. As uh, NFW is uh, red, white, black, and blue. Again, July 13th, this Saturday, just a few days away, at the Metro Sports Center here in Evansville, Indiana, 5820 Metro Drive. Whew, I tell you what, is there anything you want to add to this? I don't think Chloe's sick. I don't think Johnny's sick. I, 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 think, I think they're running On the LTD out. tour? Yeah. Well, it can't Long -term be. Long-term disability. Be <laughs> <laughs> but it all happens Saturday night. Bell time is 7.30 p.m. Uh, 
like I said, we're, we got the Love Shack uh, contest going. Uh, it, it's going good. Uh, got our, uh, my, my good buddy George Clancy's got a, a, a picture on there, and he's got a lot of likes. Uh, Heather Wilson's, her Love Shack's on there. has got a lot of likes, so it's going to be coming down probably to them two on which one we use. It's so. looking good. Yeah, it looks really good. I like it. So Saturday night, I guess uh, we'll let them know uh, how you know how they uh, how it turned out. And uh, you gotta get it, get it in, get it in get quick. It, you got one more. You got a few days left. Couple so. days, well, something a few like that. Few days left. Yeah. Whew! I tell you what, Charles. Uh, you think you want to say? You think you want to say? I just want to say, be up there Saturday night at the Metro Center. Bring your family, bring your friends, bring your grandma, your grandpa. There you go. There is a family-oriented show. Yep. Everybody has a good time. You don't have to worry about any nonsense. Just a good, clean wrestling show like it was back in the day when I used to go there back go. then. It's still like that there at the, NFW, at the NFW. So come on out and celebrate it with us. We'll have a great time. A lot of great razzers. Don't forget Doug Gilbert. Dang, just Doug, Doug Gilbert. Gilbert. Cliff Compton. Compton, Compton, formerly <laughs> Domino of the WWE. So come on out and see those guys. Johnny Richards, Rob the Iron Man Conway, the new NWA World NWA Champion. NWA World like Champion, it. Rob Conway. So it would be a great night of action, so come on out. And all your great merchandise, Love Shack merchandise, NFW merchandise, Johnny Richards merchandise, Rob, Flash, all of them have the merchandise out there. Uh, concession stand be open. You know, get something to eat, get something to drink, uh, buy a few things, watch some great matches. And I That's tell you right. what, the, I don't know if the Metro <laughs> can handle I mean, the roof come up, might be caving in on, on the Metro that night. I don't know, man. It's going to be rough. Like I said, uh, Vic and Rob going at it against each other. You got Iron Man, uh, I mean, <laughs> Dun Daniel Stubb, Gilbert, Man Man Pondo tag teaming up against Cliff Compton and Johnny Richards. You got Flash looking after J.P. Lighting. You got SOL going against Coalition. You got the NFW tag titles going up there. Viper's making his NFW debut. Sebastian's wanting a return match against Jess John. Yep. Coy's going to see what it's like. She's going to poop and fall back in the There you go. There you go. And not smell like a rose either. <laughs> not a scarlet rose anyway. <laughs> Woo, we I'll tell you about it, Charles. Yeah, buddy. Are you ready to spread I'm the love? Ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Just remember this, NFW Nation. Don't fight amongst yourself. Leave the fighting dust. All you have to do is oh. spread the love.